everybody and welcome to WTF with the family Tabers. Say hi Jamie Lynn. Hey. Say hi Jamie Lynn. Tabers. Okay, so yesterday we told you that we go that day. Yesterday we told you we were going to talk about uh I guess Juneteenth versus the 4th of July. So we already know Juneteenth has already come and gone. It was June 19th. Um, so we celebrated it. And, you know, a lot of people, I say a lot of our people, mm -hmm. black people, a lot of people um, never really, uh, they, they heard of Juneteenth, but they never really got the in-depth understanding of what Juneteenth was all about. And we have always celebrated the 4th of July because we know that's when the United States gained its independence. But uh, when you dig a little deeper and do a little research and you enlighten people, um, you know, you come to find out that Juneteenth is actually when the slaves were actually free. And it started in Garrison, Texas. And, you know, we, we've known that. But since all of the, I say the George Floyds have happened, and uh you know the the recent incidents with the you know with the police and you know and the um uh, you know the marching and stuff is now that it seems as, as though juneteenth has taken on another meaning it's, it's like more real more relatable mm -hmm. you understand baby you're tired my mm -hmm. husband just got off work y'all mm -hmm. and i just be pulling him and pulling him y'all he tired i'm sorry baby okay mm -hmm. all right <laughs> Thank you, boo. Thank you. Thank you. So, so it, it's like now it, everybody can really like more, you know, relate to it a little better. And so, um, we we celebrated you, and you know, I, yesterday I forgot to tell you, I couldn't think of what those bears. It was gum, it was gummy bears. Mm -hmm. I did some drunken gummy bears, and those gummy bears really, they were drunk. <laughs> I just leave it like that. Yeah. But um, um, so this year. You know, we had already decided that we were going to do 4th of July, but now we're at a point where we, since we celebrated Juneteenth and it's more, it's it's a holiday for us. And, um, it, you know, it feels differently. So, are we going to still celebrate the 4th of July? Yeah, we celebrate for us. We're still, okay. Okay, because y'all know I like to decorate and I like the party plan and all of this. So, actually, earlier on in the year when we were out shopping, um, I had already bought my 4th of July stuff. I actually had bought the 4th of July stuff before I bought the Juneteenth stuff. Remember? Mm -hmm. And, <clears throat> you know, we're still going to celebrate. Now, I'm not telling anybody um, not to celebrate the 4th of July or either either way. I'm just saying for us, we decided we're going to do both. Yeah. You know, because we are still American citizens, we still live in the USA, and even though we are free or semi-free or free-ish, how people say, you know, we we still here in the U.S. And whether they want to accept us as real citizens or whatever, we're still here. And the United States has its independence, so we're still gonna celebrate. Yeah. Now, um, I you know I don't want anybody to get the wrong understanding you know about Juneteenth, no, 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 but no, 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 no. It, it's a it's a holiday for us. It's a holiday for us. It, it's for us, and you know, and some stop, people stop. stop, baby. Don't do that. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. They say I should have put her little T-shirt on. She had hey. one too. Wait. Hey. But that's all we stopped by to say. Mr. Tabor is tired. So, um, just to give you a little history, we're not telling anybody not to celebrate the 4th. You know, and I remember years and years ago, people would always say, or some people would get upset, asking why do black people celebrate the 4th of July? And and, and really, uh, back when the United States gained its independence, we were still slaves. We weren't even counted as people. We were counted as property. So, I understand where they, you know, where they're coming from you know, with have, feeling a certain way about people celebrating the 4th of July because we were still, we were considered property at that yeah. time, you know. So I get all of that. But now, in uh, year 2021, you know, we are free. We are here, 
you know so and you want to take every opportunity to enjoy life you know it's so much better to enjoy life versus sitting around holding grudges and being upset and finding a reason just to be angry it's i mean you get so much more out of life being happy and enjoying life every minute just enjoying life you know my husband always say life is too short and we were just saying it a few minutes ago we're gonna take every opportunity over here in the table household to enjoy every celebrate everything you know because there's so many people that we know personally that you know are going through so many life-threatening things with their health and stuff right mm -hmm. and you know god has been so good to us throughout this pandemic nobody close to us has had covid you know, and I thank God for that. And I also, you know, I'm just going to enjoy life. I'm not going to hold grudges with anybody. You know, and I made up in my mind, anybody that's sucking my positive energy out of me, I'm not going to feed, you know, get them any more of my energy. I'm just going to enjoy life, be happy. And my husband is so, he is my my calm place because it's like sometimes i get so emotional and i let things bother me so you know i'm real passionate about things and he's so easy going he's like is that all baby we don't worry about it don't worry just let it let it go it's gonna be all right i mean just cool like that when somebody upset me baby don't worry about it i mean just like that and i'm like god know who to give me <laughs> <laughs> he know he do i needed him you can't you can't um put it like this well people gonna try to do stuff to upset you, you yeah just, that's true just treat them with cannon and keep moving that's true that's and all you gotta do is treat them with cannon and keep moving i have problems with my job you know sometimes if they don't be a perfect day but i yeah. made in my mind that that ain't gonna happen no more yeah it's gonna be i'm gonna treat them with, with kindness yeah. and keep it moving that's yeah. all i can do yeah that's with anybody else though mm -hmm. family members anybody people you encounter at work people you see and i often say you know if they don't live within your household within the okay where you going where you going oh oh okay so i tell my all wife right. all the time stop getting upset about stuff that you can't control yeah. stuff that you can you can't control don't worry about it mm -hmm. and it worked it don't worry worked about because it. worry about what you can control. What you can't control, don't worry about it. And you know the noise on the outside of this house, noise meaning people, if they don't live within these walls, you know what their opinions or what they say, if it's not positive, it, it don't even matter. Don't matter. It, it does not matter because it's so much noise out there, even with family members sometimes. And I'm just we're at peace here. Are you happy, husband? Oh yeah. Okay, and I'm happy. My son is happy. Jamie Lynn is happy because she's getting into everything. I, 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 let me show y'all these coasters. I had four of them. Somebody made them for me. And it wasn't even Juneteenth. It was early on in the year. And I just really, if she made four, I should have brought all four of them in here. But they are so cute. And it just fit nice. right in. You know? They're nice. Yeah. So we had to do our little Juneteenth uh, day, a little history. So even, you know, it's so in my book, it's okay to celebrate the 4th because we do still live in the United States. We are here. They can't get rid of us. They may want to, but they cannot. So we're here. So take every opportunity, every holiday, and just find a good thing about it and enjoy it. Because like, you don't want to be in a nursing home somewhere laying flat on your back with a lot of regrets or a lot of woulda, coulda, shouldas, you know? So we just, and I'm, I'm glad my husband has that attitude because he has to bring me back to reality and, and sometimes. I, I want to say this, mm -hmm. I went to them, I went to the dentist mm -hmm. to get some work done. Mm -hmm. And the doctor told me, he said, you need to go get you a checkup. I'm running around, blood pressure up, upset, bringing my problem home for work. You know, another thing, it just it ain't worth it. Mm -hmm. You know that high blood pressure. You know, take care of yourself. You know, get go get checked out. Right. Because I'm that's that's a silent killing, and they're killing a lot of black men. Mm -hmm. You know, but get yourself checked out, and um, don't let just control. Just control what you can control. What you can't control, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, you got some folk. It can be family members. It can be friends. But, They'll try to take you down, take you there. They'll upset you, but you can't worry about that. You got to let them go in on you, do you, and let them do them. That's right. And you just keep it moving. That's, That's all right. I can say. Well, I say I'm not going to let nothing else upset me, nobody. Not with this blood, high blood pressure. No, I'm not going to do that. 
So go right. back and take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, I went to the doctor. You can go. <laughs> there you, you know. go, baby. Yeah, you can go. They yeah. got clinics everywhere. For you know, you, you, it's not, you ain't got to pay nothing. Yeah, go get yourself, go get, you go go. get yourself checked out before it's too late. Yeah. Because that's what they gonna that's what they gonna do. They gonna have put black uh, high blood pressure on black men in the way. You out you go to the doctor, he got high blood pressure. <laughs> go down, he got high blood they pressure. They gonna diagnose with high They gonna pressure. give you something. You know, that's what they wanna do. But get yourself checked out. Okay. You know. That's all I got to say. All right. So, well, I think we're doing good. We're off to a good start. And thank you for everybody that's been in the comments. Get yourself checked out now. Okay, Mr. Get yourself checked out. Get yourself out. checked. It ain't going to cause you nothing. Get yourself checked out. All be, right. Be here, be here tomorrow. Gone. Be here today. Gone tomorrow. That's right. That's right. What they say, that silent killer? Yeah, hypertension is a silent killer. Yeah, they and you you know, you you could be feeling fine. Were you feeling fine? That ain't no symptoms. We're feeling fine. Wasn't, wasn't nothing. Some mornings I had some light headaches. Yeah. You know, I knew, I kind of figured I knew what it was, but I like, well, okay, it'll go away, come back. Yeah. Go away, come back. But keep in mind, uh, women, I had been trying to get him to go to the doctor. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Made him two appointments. The last appointment, I tricked him. I said, uh, we have to get our COVID uh, shots, get our uh, vaccination. And we, he, we, all of us, and we got to the doctor's, uh, they had the little drive through, and the lady asked us why we were there. He said, we getting our COVID vaccination. I said, no, we actually have to see the doctor. He said, no, I came to get my vaccination, and that's all, that's it. I'm like, well, honey, we already, uh, uh no. Yeah. I'll be out here when y'all come out. I'm like, I try. I even yeah. told the doctor, I said, come outside and see if you can, you know, talk him into coming in. Yeah, they do that. But, you know, it God work everything out because if you had gone I'm to glad, the dentist, I'm you I'm probably still wouldn't, wouldn't yeah, have gone yeah. to the doctor. I'm glad I went. Yeah, and we need to. You you want to walk your daughter down, your only daughter down the aisle, don't you? Oh, yeah. Okay, and I need you. Brandon needs you. Your two boys need you. Yeah. All our kids, they need you. <laughs> Y'all, I'll talk all day. All right. But, okay, we're glad to be back. So, it's day two. I don't know if we're going to come tomorrow, but I know we're probably going to do something for the 4th of July. So, we'll be back. Um, Thank y'all. And the only thing I'm going to leave y'all with today is what Mr. Tabor said. Go get checked out. Yeah. Get checked get, out. Get checked out. Your family is depending on you. Go you know, get checked need, out. They need you now. Yeah, they need you. So Brandon, Brandon, you want to say something? Brandon is here. Brandon graduated. We got, you know yeah, my what? Son, my son finna go off to college. We're gonna do something for. We're gonna do we're like gonna do we something. may tomorrow do something for graduation. Uh, we're gonna do something for Brandon before he go off to school. Yeah, we're gonna put a put a decoration up and do a little thing. We're gonna bring him on Probably tomorrow. Probably not. We're gonna be right before he go to school. No, I mean do like a little. Uh, uh, -uh. no. -uh. Uh -uh. All right. Well, love y'all. Peace. All right. Leave a comment below. <laughs>